When nothing is sure, everything is possible. In times of crisis, embrace the power of possibility, the power of you, in choosing a bright future with UE Roytech. Crises bring opportunities, opportunities which UE Roytech has mastered and used for growth and renewal. Our fully accredited cutting edge programs will position you to take advantage of career opportunities in an ever changing and exciting new world. Whether face to face, remote, or hybrid, UE Roytech's rewarding learning experience is shaped by a globally connected curriculum delivered by highly competent faculty and backed by enabling technology. The possibilities are endless. We have 34 years of experience in empowering learners. Join us as we take hold of the future and place you on your path to career success. Register today to experience the possibilities at Gubi Roytech. Your path to career success. To learn more, log on to www.roytech.edu. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Genevieve Julian, Manager Corporate Training and Community Engagement at UB Roytech. Thank you for joining us for this very special live segment today. We are so delighted to be coming to you in collaboration with the Faculty of Social Sciences, UE St. Augustine. And this afternoon, we are talking about careers in the social sciences. And to help me start that conversation, I'm going to bring on screen uh, Mrs. Marlene George Mitchell, our subject head in psychology, sociology, and politics at UB Roy Tech. So we're just waiting for uh, Marlene to join us. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, good afternoon, Marlene, and welcome. Thank you for being with us here this afternoon. Um, we're so excited about this conversation about the careers in social sciences, and we're just going to jump straight into it. But before I do that, I want our audience to understand that UE Roy Tech is a wholly owned subsidiary of UE St. Augustine. And... Uh, through that arrangement, we offer a certificate in social sciences that allows graduates to transition uh, straight into the Faculty of Social Sciences at UE St. Augustine, right? So I'm going to bring you into the conversation now so that you can share with our audience why should someone study uh, in the area of social sciences. What exciting careers exist out there in social sciences? Oh my, there are so many exciting careers in social sciences. First of all, social sciences is a multifaceted area of study or discipline as you want to see it, right? And UB Roy Tech, it was such a fantastic initiative to introduce the certificate in social sciences because what it did it was is that it introduced students even after the csec level to that first step in that tertiary education in social sciences what people don't understand incorporates so many other disciplines so for example before we talk about career understand it is not unfor it is not like medicine or law if you are in the social sciences, you are exposed to so many courses. You are so sociology, psychology, anthropology, criminology, um, my area, political science. So a career in social sciences prepares an individual to understand about society, to be able to combine society with the people within society to understand the behaviors, to understand the mindsets, to be able to become critical thinkers, right? And so a career in social sciences and what this certificate does is that it exposes students to a multifaceted, I think it's 10 to 12 courses. Each course is a separate discipline. Each course exposes students to one branch of social science and because of that you're now able to master in a specific area so my experience has been with political science and politics and i have grown and now i am a lecturer 
with UV Roy Tech, as well as the University of the West Indies. I have tutored in political science. So I'll be building a career in the social sciences, whichever area you choose, opens the door to students to learn about society, to apply themselves and to apply that knowledge, right? What is also fantastic beyond politics, beyond you can teach, you can tutor, you can become your own boss, right? You can become your own boss. You can um, have consultancies. All depends on the area that you choose, whether you want to become part of politics, at the, you understand, public or even private, right? Consultancy, you can become through the area of international relations, you can become an ambassador, it, it equips you for so many areas. And don't limit yourself to Trinidad and Tobago. Because it shows you that the region is at your disposal, as well as internationally, becoming a part of the United Nations, right? Becoming a part of CARICOM. So a degree or a certificate starts you off, and then you become part of a bigger environment. In this case, the University of the West Indies. And that's your link. Yes, yes. Thank you, Marlene, for that. So I just want to, to reiterate because you have shared with us the possibilities that exist in the careers of in social sciences, right? And I just want to let our audience know that our certificate in social sciences program is specifically targeted to individuals who wish to pursue a bachelor's degree in the range of degrees that are available within the social sciences discipline. And you have shared some of those with us, politics, sociology, psychology, international relations, and so on. But this program, this certificate in social sciences is particularly for those persons who do not meet the normal matriculation requirements of the UB St. Augustine. And as such, students can choose to pursue the Certificate in Social Sciences at UE Roy Tech. And upon graduating with a GPA of 2.5, they get guaranteed acceptance into any level program at the Faculty of Social Sciences, all right? And I just want to go back to the, the point that you were making about the range of disciplines that is covered in the Certificate in Social Sciences that allows a graduate now to have access to the degree programs at the Faculty of Social Sciences. So what do you study in the Certificate in Social Sciences that now prepares you for that career path um, we do foundation of English and communication skills, very, very critical, regardless of, of what career path you choose for yourself. Fundamentals of management, essential psychology and sociology, you know, the fundamentals of mathematics, um, introduction to economics, introduction to politics, introduction to financial accounting, professional development. And you were making that point just now about being able to connect anywhere in the world and honing the skills and your talents that you can then use as a consultant, you know, an introduction to entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is such a key study area now, regardless of the discipline that you are. Um, you enter, that you choose. So Marlene, I want to thank you for that. I'm gonna bring you back into the discussion a little bit later. So I'll see you in a bit. So uh, we're just gonna share with our audience our information on the certificate in social. All right, lovely. So I want to bring into the discussion now Two of UB Roytex graduates of the Certificate in Social Sciences who are now students at the Faculty of Social Sciences, UB St. Augustine, Rihanna Brown and Emilio Hernandez. I believe Rihanna is in her third year and Emilio is in his second year. Guys, welcome. Can you hear us? We can. Good afternoon. Thank you for having us. Good afternoon. I think Rihanna is uh, muted, so you have to unmute Rihanna. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for having us. 
<laughs> Wonderful. It's so great to have you. And, and Rihanna is all the way in Barbados, people. So we're so grateful that you guys can be here today. You know, and I want you to share with our audience what your experience has been like as a student in the UV Roy Tech CSS program. I can start with Rihanna first. Yeah, the um, the experience I had was one of the best experiences in a university I've ever had. Not saying that just because it's my first experience, but the teachers were amazing. They were so understanding. They were willing to go over anything with you. And some even went as far to say that they could um, set some extra time mm -hmm. so you could understand the material because some things, well, if you're like me, accounting was hard. Right, understand, right, okay, good. So you found that you got that additional support and, and the extra time and, and coaching that you needed to help you to be able to grasp the material in accounting. Yes. Okay, wonderful. So Rihanna is doing a BSc in International <laughs> Relations at the Faculty of Social Sciences. Rihanna, tell us, um, did you choose your career path in social sciences prior to coming to UWE Roy Tech, or did you decide uh, what your next step would have been having gone through the CSS program? Yeah, going through the um, CSS program, that's how I decided that I wanted to become an international lawyer. Wonderful. I knew I, knew I wanted to be a lawyer, but I wasn't sure exactly which field I wanted to laze in. Mm -hmm. So after that, I realized how much I wanted to help people and join the UN and with these crises going on with the refugees, you know? Right. And did you get guidance and um, from your faculty here at UWE Roy Tech in how to, to choose that career path, how to get on that career path to becoming an international lawyer? Yes, actually. Um... She was just here, Miss Molly. Molly. She, yeah, she's yeah. really good at advice. Okay. She, she told me exactly the ins and outs of UE, actual mm -hmm. UE, mm -hmm. and told me the um, like they had model UN in the university. I didn't even know they had a model UN, and certain strains that would help you in life to reach exactly where you want to go. Okay, wonderful. And I want to bring Emilio into the conversation as well, because I know that um, Emilio has a, a, a little bit of a different story, uh, being more of a mature student, but choosing to do the program full time. Can you tell us what that experience was like um, being a full time student who was also working and, and so on? It was challenging, but um, like Rihanna said, the teachers we had, the instructors we had at Roy Tech were really mm -hmm. um, hands-on and not trying to steal everything Rihanna said, but Miss Mitchell was also very instrumental in me and the path I chose mm -hmm. in, to get into UB and studying international relations. I mm -hmm. always uh, mentioned that my very first intro to politics class, because um, I went into the program being interested in social sciences, but not specifically in politics. And with my interaction, with Miss Mitchell, she was very, very hands-on and she gave me that motivation and made me feel encouraged and inspired to say, hey, this is what you want to do, get into the UE and, and focus on this. And currently I am the vice president of the Political Science Society at UE and Miss Mitchell is my advisor. So hopefully we can do more work together. And like I said, she's very, very um, hands-on and a great, great lecturer. Okay, so you, I think I'd be correct to say that you were inspired to get into the area of political science because of your exposure here in the Certificate in Social Sciences program. Yes. Yeah? All right, yes. great. I want to just bring Miss Mitchell back on um, so that, uh, you know, you guys can share with us a little bit about the activities that take place in the Faculty of Social Sciences that allow students to be able to develop those work-ready skills and, and so on. I know Rihanna mentioned um, a UN club and Emilio mentioned a political science group and so on. So uh, Mali, maybe you can share with us a little bit about what the exposure that students receive at the Faculty 
philosophy of social sciences while they are studying on their particular career path. Oh, okay. Well, within the faculty, you know, of course, there's a guild, right? Mm -hmm. And a number of different clubs exist within right. the department of, I would say, political department of political science. The the initiative have been to have seminars, to have little conferences, workshops, etc., to expose the students. Right, because it's not just about politics, it is not just about academia, but to create that holistic student, right? A number of field trips, but unfortunately, the environment has changed, right? And whereas virtual is still um, posing a threat to certain things. So, for example, parliament visits the parliament and things like that. And even if you need to leave the country, that is now a challenge right so you're now restricted and through emilio and the political society um hoping for more and more initiative because they have a number of ideas coming up and different events that they do want to put on before during the semester i think emilio has a list and he'll be much more become just the advisor on behalf of the department right Okay, great, Maya. And I just want to bring the conversation back to, to UE Roy Tech and some of the opportunities that our students have here to get involved in, in anything that is related to the social sciences. I know they, they participate in debates and so on that you prepare them for. So maybe you could share with our audience what kind of experiences this, uh, our UE Roy Tech students have as they prepare for, for a career in the social sciences? Okay, we've had a number of debates um, with other schools, tertiary level education um, institutions. We've had the, the debates. Um, what we're now doing through the political society, we met once and they're planning a number of events for which we can invite students from UV Roy Tech to be a part of the discussion on current affairs within the country and the region for that matter. So that is one thing that the political society is working on right now. Okay, that's excellent. That's excellent. Thank you so much for the work that you do at UV Writer to prepare our students, our graduates of the CSS program to transition into the Faculty of Social Sciences and their chosen career path there. Let me just say one more thing though. I think the students of the Social Sciences program are in a such a very good position as undergrad, first year undergrad students entering UWE. The exposure to the number and the variety of courses are really the year one, level one courses. So the UWE Reutech students do not grapple and they are not as challenged as students, non UWE Reutech students. So the program really prepares the students for this new chapter in their lives. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mali. And our audience, you would have heard it. Graduates of the UV Roy Tech Certificate in Social Sciences program have a smooth transition into their particular degree program at the Faculty of Social Sciences, UV St. Augustine. So you're hearing all about the Certificate in Social Sciences program. If you want more information about this program, I encourage you to visit our website at www.roytech.edu. We have advisors who are standing by in our live chat um, who are available to, to talk with you and to answer any questions that you may have about uh, the Certificate in Social Sciences program or the application process. And as I'm mentioning the application process, we want to share with you that we are currently open for applications. If you are awaiting CSEC results, that is fine. You can go ahead and apply today and submit your results later. Again, if you want more information about our application process, please visit our website at www.roytech.edu. Marlene, thank you so very much. And I want to bring our final guest on this afternoon. It's the Deputy Dean Undergraduate Student Matters at the Faculty of Social Sciences. And I'm talking about Dr. Natanya DeKairis, Welcome. Your mic is muted, so you have to unmute. 
Thank you very much. And it's such a warm welcome and good afternoon to our viewing and listening audience. It is so happy. I'm so happy to be here. That's yes, and we are so very happy to have you as well and to have this collaborative discussion um, you. about how UB Roy Tech facilitates um, graduates of our CSS program to transition into the Faculty of Social Seamless, Sciences. Yes. Yes, and so I want you to share with our audience some of the various programs that exist. We're talking about careers in the social sciences. Yes, so help yeah. us to understand the possibilities that exist. Possibilities are plenty. And I really, I want to point out um, a couple of things about the University of the West Indies that maybe our listening and viewing audience may not know about the fac Faculty of Social Sciences, that is. That the Faculty of Social Sciences is the largest faculty at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. And a lot of our, our programs, uh, many of our institutes, etc., exist across the entire UE. All of the different campuses share certain similarities. And it is, um, it is, it is a wonderful opportunity to be part of that, um, that legacy and that large regional community. In the Faculty of Social Sciences, there are four what we call departments. And what departments are, are um, let's say, clusters of different programs that come under a singular discipline. So earlier, you'll hear um, Ms. Marlene talk uh, about all the, um, about political science. So at the Faculty of Social Sciences, there is a department of political science and out of the department of political science there are a number of programs that are that are on offer so if you have an interest in um, you know understanding how government works how public sector decisions are made how some of the uh, public sector processes work and how people use those processes to um, to improve the quality of society, then a career in political science uh, may be for you. I heard Rihanna earlier talk about her interest in international law, but maybe your interest is in international relations, understanding this geopolitical uh, environment in which we live and how those uh, relationships across the waters, um, how they uh, operate and how they impact on societies here within the region and beyond, then a career in uh, international relations may be, may be the one for you. And in the Department of Political Sciences, there are also certificates and diploma programs in public sector man management, in, um, 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 you know, in, in, as I said before, in, in international relations. There's also the Department of Economics. And in the Department of Economics, if you are interested in understanding economic forces, how money moves in society, how resources are used, how uh, disadvantage, how economic disadvantage impacts on other social sectors in the society, how um, how economies can grow or shrink depending on global and international forces, then the Department of Economics can offer you a bachelor's degree in economics. And if you join the Department of Economics, you also have the opportunity to be part of the Conference on the Economy, which happens annually, and the Dimas Rampasad lectures that speak you know, to, to the the um, application of some of these economic concepts and to be part of the debate, uh, you know, a lot of debates that occur around the budget, for example, the post-budget debate, post-budget um, uh, information series, etc. So if that is your interest, if you if you want to understand the movement of money and 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 economics within the society, then the Department of Economics offers you an opportunity. We also have the Department of Management Studies, which offers several programs as well for persons who are interested in organizations and organizational development and the Department of Behavioral Sciences, which speaks 
to social relationships and human behavior. We have a social work program out of the Department of Behavioral Sciences. And I could not pause without sticking a plug right in there because I am a lecturer in the social work program yes. as well. And I was just room. waiting so, for you to get yeah. to that point so we could yes. talk a little bit about social work and, and you know, Absolutely. your personal passion that drove personal you passion. to get into this particular area. Yes. I have an interest in how people function in society. What are the sources of dysfunction and what are the opportunities within our society to improve and enhance how people interact with the wider society? Many people, when they think of social work, they also think of social welfare. And social welfare speaks to the public's um, and, and the, the social sector's responsibility for the less fortunate, for the disadvantaged within society. But when I speak about social work, I also speak about it as a social justice commitment that we make to, um, to ensure that persons who are otherwise marginalized, disadvantaged, abused, vulnerable within our society, that they have an equal opportunity, that they get justice. And there are several branches of social work. There are several areas of social work that exist in Trinidad and Tobago. There is school social work, there's social work within the hospital setting, the medical social workers, psychiatric social workers, social workers in probation, social workers in the justice system. We have uh, social workers in the community, working in the community mediation centers. And their role is to understand first and then to influence the environment to improve the opportunities and the possibilities for people who may otherwise not have a fair chance within society. And I think one of the biggest things about social work, when I got into social work, and I think I try to replicate it, and myself and all of my colleagues in social work replicate it as we go, is that in order to practice social work, to be a social worker, we have to confront some of our own limitations and shortcomings and biases and prejudices about how we see people. One of the mantras that my students hear me say all the time, how we see people, it influences how we treat people. And how we see and treat people is a function of many times of how we see and treat with ourselves and our own concerns. And so uh, social work is just one of a number of programs that are on offer through the Department of Behavioral Sciences, psychology, criminology and criminal justice, sociology, mediation, also on offer through the behavioral through behavioral sciences fascinating just absolutely fascinating if i would just share with you one of the comments from our viewers yes. she's saying you know that um you write has exposed them to so much during these lives that she keeps falling in love over and over with all of the programs and can't make up her mind about what direction to to go in yes. you know i think um, that was a real um a real um, asset to have introduced this certificate in social sciences to give people who um, a lot of younger people don't have um, a good understanding of what's available, what's possible out there. Many of them choose careers that they don't even know a lot about. Yeah. And so the certificate in social sciences gives them a taster of what some of these disciplines will offer and where they can fit best. And I think that's certainly an asset. Yes, and, and I want to go back to what you were saying about, you know, caring for humanity and the, the whole issue of equity um, yes. and encouraging others to, to reach their fullest potential. Absolutely. And the certificate in social sciences was specifically designed for those persons who did not meet the normal matriculation requirements to the UB St. Augustine, thus giving persons another possibility to still be able to access uh, tertiary education at the Faculty of Social Sciences. Absolutely. And, and to still um, have an opportunity to go after their dream, you know? And, and that's so important in, in these times. You're absolutely right. And, um, you know, and I want to, I want also want to put it a little bit differently. The Certificate in Social Sciences also offers an option 
an option for persons coming through the secondary system to be able to to make a choice yeah. about whether they would like to pursue keep and advanced studies and mm -hmm. matriculate into the university that way mm -hmm. you know and maybe those options are limited the subjects that are available to them may seem to be limiting i don't even know if i like these subjects but because this is what i'm being offered in school this is what i have to do but then there are these pre kind of almost like tertiary but pre pre bachelors options yes. that give me a chance to see more than is available within the secondary system yes. and i think that that is an excellent that is an option that's an option not because you know we i did i, I can't do well in this area means that i can't do well in a different kind of system and that is yes. um and that is again the asset of this program Yes, yes, definitely. Because in just one year time, you have an opportunity to get your foot wet, you know, to get your feet wet, to, to, to uh, be exposed to all the various areas that we spoke about, you know, political science, sociology, psychology, as opposed to spending two years doing CAPE and then entering into uh, the university system. Uh, coming through the CSS program at UB Roy Tech, um, exposes you to university life. So you are prepared, we prepare you here for tertiary studies. And, and as Marlene would have said, you know, our graduates have a smoother transition um, into the Faculty of Social Sciences because of that. You know, yeah. um, we have a question from Brittany sure. Ramirein, and I will Hello, ask Brittany. you to take that. Brittany is asking, is international relations or political science a better foundation to work with the UN? Well, the um, I think I think either. I do think there is a little bit of a lean. The thing about an undergraduate degree is that it re it also offers you a taste of a number of things, and the degree in political science also offers you the opportunity to pursue a number of courses that mm -hmm. will tell you if this is really the direction you would like to go or there's also the opportunity to pursue a minor in this particular area so in for either of them i think that it could be a good foundation but the university of the west indies also has an institute of Interna for international relations at the postgraduate level and really once you complete your undergraduate degree you can advance into the diplomatic academy, uh, pursue some of those courses, which will certainly prepare you for a career anyway. I mean, listen, there's a career in the UN on offer for if you did a degree in social work as well. So yes. that's also possible. So there are there are so many avenues mm -hmm. in the, within the United Nations that any social sciences degree really can put you on that road. Yeah, there, there's so many possibilities in social sciences Absolutely. and you have done an excellent job at sharing those possibilities with us. You know, I can see from the comments how excited people are. It's like your passion is just infectious, you know, oh, we're getting. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so we want to thank you so much for sharing with us this afternoon. Oh, you're very welcome. I want to bring Emilio and Rihanna back in. All right. Hi, guys. Emilio, I think you're still muted. Wonderful. And I just want to pick up the discussion um, from the question that Brittany asked, which uh, Dr. DeKairis was um, sharing on. And so I want to ask, because each of you are actually in those specific fields. Rihanna, you are in international relations. And Emilio, you are in political science. All right. So I'm maybe you can share. Pardon? I'm also in international, in international relations. relations, but you're also very much involved in political science as well. So perhaps you can um, share for those who are thinking about getting into those areas. What are some of the subjects um, that you would have studied and, and what your journey has been like so far? OK, so coming from the CSS, as um, Ms. Marlene Mitchell mentioned and Dr. DeCarries, um, the CSS program really gives you a well-rounded um, foundation 
of all the different facets within the social sciences. And I entered Reuters initially to get into the Faculty of Social Sciences at GB to study um, sociology or psychology. And um, after my first intro to politics class, I realized, and this is a part of my personality, I like to talk, I like to travel, I like to help people. You know what? I think I want to study international relations. And what I would say is within the first year of UE, the courses I did in the CSS program really gave me, I don't want to say an easy advantage, but um, it really made getting into second year and into the core of IR very smooth because we did touch a little bit of economics and, and political philosophy and political institutions and analysis within my first year. So now that I'm in my second year, some of the courses that I'm doing consists of theories and approaches to international relations. And it really, really, really is giving me, how to put it, the, um, the foundation to, to say, hey, when I graduate with this degree, I want to get a job in the UN, and I think that I have a solid um, background of information that um, qualifies me now to go out there and help people on a greater scale, because that is my passion when I complete this program. Emilio, thanks so much, and we wish you all the best uh, as you continue um, your educational journey and you aspire towards your job in the United Nations. Uh, Rihanna, so tell us some of the courses that you have been exposed to and how that has prepared you um, for that particular career path that you have chosen and, and for your own aspirations of, of being in the United Nations. Well, when I first came into UE, because I have no K background, because I decided to do the uh, the FSS program, I was a little worried going into UE because I felt like maybe I wouldn't be as prepared as others. But that worry was unfounded because I was beaten up with the rest of them very easily. The courses were great because the foundation that we had in the FSS program was perfect. I didn't actually need the cape to do as well as I'm doing right now. And Emilio basically took everything. So everything I wanted to say, <laughs> I can't even add because he did it so perfectly. Awesome. So I think generally what you are both saying is that the certificate in social sciences set you on that right foundation. You felt that you were well prepared to continue your journey at the Faculty of Social Sciences. Yes? Yes. That's great. <laughs> okay. and so we wish you all the best, the absolute best as you continue um, on your own journeys. Thank you for being here with us. All right, so I just want to bring Miss Marlene Mitchell back. Hi. As we say goodbye to Rihanna and Emilio. Yes, and, and Marlene, I just um, want to ask a question on behalf of one of our viewers. Um, that person is asking about uh, minors that are available. Um, with the different programs of study. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to share with us some of the possible minors that can be done with the degrees. Okay, um, sure. Within the faculty, there are minors, there are majors, and there are specialists. Mm -hmm. right? Within the, it all depends on the program that that individual is pursuing. So, for example, Rihanna and Emilio are doing international relations, and that's a special. That is 15 right. courses. So a degree is 30 courses, 10 year one, year two, and year three. And if you're doing a special, that's 15 courses. So you can still do a minor. So Emilia is doing international relations with political science. So you are learning about the international institutions, organizations, and you're also learning about the composition, the structure of the political environment within your country. And, on, and it really complements each other both both are uh, majors and minors and special so it all depends so students entering the university can pursue double majors a special with a minor or one major with a double minor it all depends on the program whether the program is a major a minor or a minor okay and maybe um, dr de Kairis can come back in and, and add um anything extra to to that particular point mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Um, each department offers 
um, minors in um, in a number of areas, as um, as Ms. Marlene was saying. But what you have to always pay attention to is the composition of your program. Mm -hmm. That's going to be important. The number of courses that are required for the major that you are doing would be, would tell you whether you are permitted to do a minor because a minor is made up of five courses. Okay. So if are you permitted to do a minor? And if there are too many overlaps in the courses that are required for the minor, in your major, you may not be able to choose that minor. So it depends on your major, it depends on what's on offer, what's available, and what the composition of courses for both of them are. If you're doing a special, it's a little more challenging. If you're doing a degree that says that it's a special, what Miss Marlene was saying before is that of the 20 courses that you'll have to do for your second and third years, 15 of those courses are already set for you mm -hmm. so that you only have five elective courses to accommodate a minor. That could be very tight, mm -hmm. very, very tight. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when you're doing a special, if you choose chosen a special, it's a little more challenging to find a minor that could fit in with it. So it depends on what your interests are, it depends on what your um, what your degree requires and what the minor requires. And you have to juggle that. And of course, when you when you um, apply and you, you begin to register, there are academic advisors who can support you in making those kinds of choices. Certain along the, the, the journey every year, you receive academic advising and so on, to allow you to be able to make those best decisions. And I just want to answer a question. We have a question asking about um, if the CSS program gives you access to the St. Augustine campus only. And I just want to share, yes, it does. The arrangement that UB Roy Tech has is with uh, the St. Augustine campus and specifically the Faculty of Social Sciences is a faculty that accepts our graduates from the certificate in social sciences. Okay, I'm just trying to get through some of the documents. I'm, I'm uh, seeing here another question. Can you do a double major with international relations? I, I again, I don't know if uh, Miss Marlene may be able to answer that better than mm -hmm. I than I could. I am not sure how again international relations is a special, isn't it, Miss Marlene? Yes. Yes. So it doesn't permit it doesn't permit a double major. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yes. But the fifteen courses are so compact and they're all inclusive. So. Yes. You don't need a double major, trust me. You know, no. I, I, I always say that. You don't really need a double major. People okay. think that, it's you know, it, it looks, you look a little brighter, but you don't necessarily need a double major. You know, the broader your, you, you throw your, your, your net, the, the wider you throw your net, the better for you. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Right. So uh, our we, we do have staff who are monitoring the comments and so on. And I just want our audience to know that we will reach out with uh, to you to provide you with a response, even if we don't publicly answer your question. All right. So we are about to wrap up. I just want to thank you so much for what is such an informative um, conversation this evening. I'm, I'm seeing it in the chat here. Um, people are so grateful that we've decided to do this uh, collaboration and to be able to share on uh, careers in the social sciences. And just as we are wrapping up, I want to encourage persons to head over to our website, www.roytech.edu. You will get all the information that you need on the Certificate in Social Sciences program and all of our other programs as well. So I just want to reiterate that the Certificate in Social Sciences will equip you with the knowledge that is required to pursue an undergraduate degree within the social sciences discipline. It will also reinforce knowledge and skills that will benefit you in the world of work, okay? 
Um, it provides the fundamental concepts in management, economics, psychology, sociology, finance, political science, and, and all. This is the foundation that you need to be able to explore all of those uh, various programs that exist at the Faculty of Social Sciences. So we want to say to you that the possibilities are endless. When nothing is sure, everything is possible, all right? So we encourage you to submit your application. Um, log on to www.roytech.edu to learn of our application procedures. You do not need to wait for CSEC results. We encourage you to apply today, submit your results later. So thank you for joining us. Thank you so much to my guests. I wish you all the absolute best. Thank you. Have a Thank great you. evening, everyone. Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 When nothing is sure, everything is possible. In times of crisis, embrace the power of possibility, the power of you, in choosing a bright future with UE Roytech. Crises bring opportunities, opportunities which UE Roytech has mastered and used for growth and renewal. Our fully accredited cutting-edge programs will position you to take advantage of career opportunities in an ever-changing and exciting new world. Whether face-to-face, -face, remote, or hybrid, UE Roytech's rewarding learning experience is shaped by a globally connected curriculum, delivered by highly competent faculty, and backed by enabling technology. The possibilities are endless. We have 34 years of experience in empowering learners. Join us as we take hold of the future and place you on your path to career success. Register today to experience the possibilities at UB Roytech. Log on to www.roytech.edu 